Have you ever wondered how the Philippines and Vietnam, two Southeast Asian nations, became allies? Their shared history tells a tale of struggle, resilience, and mutual respect that's as captivating as it is complex. Let's dive back into the annals of history. It's the late 19th century, and both nations find themselves under the yoke of colonial powers. The Philippines, with its sprawling archipelago, falls under Spanish rule, while Vietnam, a coastal gem, is colonized by the French. Despite the vast cultural differences imprinted by their colonizers, both nations share a common struggle for sovereignty, a struggle that would shape their identities and destinies in the years to come. Fast forward to the mid-20th century, and we see these nations, fresh from shaking off their colonial chains, plunged into another battle, the fight against communism during the Cold War. While the Philippines, under American influence, adopts a democratic form of government, Vietnam, with its northern half under communist control, is split in two, setting the stage for a bloody civil war. Yet despite their differing paths, both nations grapple with similar challenges, from political instability to economic hardship. Through these shared struggles, a sense of camaraderie begins to form between the Philippines and Vietnam. They recognize in each other the same resilience, the same spirit of resistance, and the same unwavering commitment to sovereignty. Their shared history has not been one of constant harmony. There have been disputes, disagreements, even conflicts. But through it all, they've learned to respect each other's resolve, to empathize with each other's struggles, and to cooperate in the face of common threats. Their shared history has forged a bond of mutual respect and cooperation, setting the stage for their present alliance. This alliance, born out of a shared past and nurtured by shared challenges, is more than a strategic partnership. It's a testament to their shared commitment to sovereignty and regional stability. And in the geopolitical chess game of the West Philippine Sea, this alliance could just be the game changer. But that's a story for another scene. For now, let's pause and reflect on the power of shared history and how it shapes alliances, politics, and the world as we know it. Now, imagine a chessboard. On one side is China, a rising global superpower. On the other, the Philippines and Vietnam. This isn't a game of chess in a cozy living room, but a high-stakes match on the global stage. The board is the South China Sea, a crucial artery of global trade, where trillions of dollars worth of cargo pass through each year. It's a region rich in resources, from oil and gas reserves to some of the world's most productive fisheries. The Philippines and Vietnam, two nations nestled within this sea, have a strategic location that makes them a potential counterbalance to China's dominance. Like knights on our chessboard, they are positioned to make powerful moves. They sit at the heart of the South China Sea with their sprawling archipelagos and lengthy coastlines. These nations can influence sea routes, control access to resources, and in alliance present a united front. It's interesting to note that their geographical position is not their only strength. They also hold significant political and diplomatic clout in Southeast Asia. As members of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, they've got a seat at the table where regional policies are forged and disputes are settled. Moreover, their shared history of resistance against foreign powers has fostered a certain resilience and spirit of solidarity. This shared experience could make an alliance between them stronger, adding another layer of complexity to the geopolitical chess game in the South China Sea. But why should China, a colossal superpower, be concerned about these two nations? Well, alliances can be game changers. They can shift balances of power, redraw the lines of influence, and rewrite the rules of the game. An alliance between the Philippines and Vietnam could potentially challenge China's current dominance in the region. In the grand game of geopolitics, the alliance between the Philippines and Vietnam is a strategic move. The chessboard is set, the pieces are moving, and the game is far from over. So as we delve deeper into this topic, remember the stakes are high and the moves made today will shape the geopolitical landscape of tomorrow. But how does this alliance work in practice? Let's dive into the nitty-gritty. The Philippines and Vietnam have a history of standing shoulder to shoulder, countering China's influence. This camaraderie isn't just limited to diplomatic chatter in well-lit conference rooms, oh no. 
It stretches beyond that, reaching into the depths of military strategies and economic synergies. Take, for example, the joint military exercises. These aren't just a show of strength, but a testament to their shared commitment to protect their sovereignty. The two nations have often conducted naval drills in the West Philippine Sea, sending a clear message to China. They're not just two individual nations, but a formidable force that stands united. This alliance is their shield and sword, their bulwark against any attempt to undermine their territorial integrity. And it's not just about flexing military muscles. The Philippines and Vietnam have also been astute in their diplomatic negotiations. They've leveraged international platforms to voice their concerns, calling out China's aggressive tactics. By working together, they've been able to amplify their voices on the global stage, promoting a shared vision of a peaceful rules-based order in the region. But what about the economic front? Well, the alliance isn't just about defending territories, it's also about fostering prosperity. The Philippines and Vietnam have forged strong economic ties, promoting trade and investment between their countries. They've built bridges, not just across the sea, but also in the realm of commerce, creating opportunities for their people and strengthening their economies. In essence, the alliance between the Philippines and Vietnam isn't just about countering China's dominance. It's about a shared vision, a shared commitment, and a shared resolve. It's about two nations standing together, protecting their sovereignty and promoting prosperity. Together, they present a united front in the face of a common challenge. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the power of alliance in action. It's not just about what they stand against, but also about what they stand for. And that makes all the difference. So why does this alliance pose such a threat to China's dominance in the South China Sea? Well, to understand the fear from Beijing's perspective, we need to first grasp China's ambition in the region. You see, China has long asserted its claim over the vast majority of the South China Sea, a claim disputed by many, but most vociferously by the Philippines and Vietnam. This alliance disrupts China's plans for regional dominance, and here's why. Firstly, the combined strength of the Philippines and Vietnam is not to be underestimated. While individually, neither nation can match China's military might together, they present a formidable challenge. Their combined military personnel, naval assets, and air capabilities significantly bolster their defense and deterrence capabilities. Additionally, the strategic positioning of these two countries plays a crucial role. They sit like gatekeepers on either side of the South China Sea, a critical global shipping route. This geographical advantage could potentially allow them to control or at least heavily monitor maritime traffic, which would be a significant blow to China's plans of asserting control over these waters. Moreover, this alliance is not just about military might. It's about diplomacy, about standing together on the global stage and presenting a united front against China's territorial claims. The symbolic power of this alliance is immense, and it's a clear signal to other nations in the region and beyond that China's assertiveness in the South China Sea is not going unchecked. Finally, this alliance also poses a psychological threat to China. The idea of two of its neighbors joining forces to counter its influence could potentially inspire other countries in the region to do the same. This could lead to a domino effect, with more and more nations banding together to challenge China's regional dominance. In conclusion, the alliance between the Philippines and Vietnam is a significant threat to China's ambitions in the South China Sea. It's not just about the size of the army, but the strength of the alliance. It's about standing together, about strategic positioning, and about sending a clear message to the world. And remember, it's not just about the size of the army, but the strength of the alliance. What does the future hold for this alliance? A question that reverberates through the halls of power from Hanoi to Manila, and indeed, across the entire Pacific Rim. The alliance between the Philippines and Vietnam has the potential to significantly alter the balance of power in the West Philippine Sea. But what does the future hold? Firstly, there's potential for growth. As these nations continue to build on their shared interests and mutual concerns, the alliance could strengthen and deepen. 
This could manifest in various ways from increased military cooperation to greater economic integration. The possibilities are vast and the implications profound. Secondly, there's the possibility of expansion. The Alliance, as it stands, is already a formidable force. But imagine the potential if other nations, sharing similar concerns about China's increasing dominance, decide to join. Countries like Malaysia, Indonesia and Brunei, all with territorial disputes in the South China Sea, could be potential allies. This broad-based coalition could serve as a powerful counterbalance to China's growing influence. And thirdly, the alliance could evolve. As the geopolitical landscape shifts and new challenges emerge, the alliance may need to adapt. This could mean developing new strategies, adopting innovative technologies, or finding creative diplomatic solutions. The alliance has already proven its resilience and adaptability, and there's every reason to believe it will continue to do so. The future, as always, is uncertain. But one thing is clear. The alliance between the Philippines and Vietnam is not just a temporary arrangement. It is a strategic partnership built on shared concerns and mutual respect. It is an alliance forged in the crucible of geopolitical tension, and it is here to stay. As the geopolitical landscape continues to shift, the alliance between the Philippines and Vietnam remains a key player. It's a fascinating tale of diplomacy, strategy, and resilience, and it's far from over. So let's keep our eyes on this space, for the future holds many possibilities. Subscribe for more amazing content and keep wondering about the fascinating world of geopolitics. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.